All right, so I wasn't actually gonna do a video about this thing, but why the hell not? You guys seem to enjoy working on old junk like this. So here we have an old Cowie, an 81 Cowie, I think it's a KX 550. She's, she's rough. I thought it was stolen, but I, I'm, I'm starting to think it was just abandoned because the ignition's not broken. I had to take it apart so I could actually like turn the ignition on, but the ignition's not broken. None of the locks are broken and it has a very serious wiring issue somewhere. <laughs> so I, I, I'm tending to believe it's not stolen. It was just literally abandoned at some point and it's been sitting for God knows how long, 15, 20 years. <laughs> So anyway, this is a freebie from one of my brother's friends, because I'm working on stuff like this for him. I don't, I don't know why, but he wants it fixed. Whatever, man. <laughs> I already fixed a 80cc powered bicycle for him, so this is my payment for fixing random shit. So basically, I'm not charging anything for Buddy to fix his random crap. <laughs> And I'm not making his stuff pristine, like brand new. I'm just making it to the point where it runs like the, the 80cc pedal assist bike. I just made sure everything worked. The clutch works, kill switch works, everything, right? So it's, it's not pretty, but it works. So anyway, this is my payment for doing that. Uh, yeah, she's a little rough. Front tire's gone. Won't hold air for more than a couple hours. So that's gonna have to be changed. Um, I did find the wiring problem. So right here, you can see the plug's a little burnt there. It's a little burnt there. <laughs> that wire's melted. And it instantly pops fuses. Like when I first got the bike, I popped in a fuse. I was just, I was literally just gonna clip the two things together. But that's always a bad idea. So I put a fuse in it and sure enough, it instantly blew the fuse. And then it took me literally a whole day of <laughs> unplugging stuff to figure out exactly where the short was. And that's when I traced it back to this guy. Now, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what this is. Uh, I thought it was the stator, but this, this right here, these three yellow wires, that should be the stator, which is still plugged in. So it's not that, it's whatever this is, is completely shorted out. It might even just be the shift indicator because it goes down here somewhere. So it, it literally might just be a shift indicator that shorted out. However, those wires are pretty thick for a shift indicator. So I'm, I'm not sure what that wire does. Uh, the engine was also seized up. It, it clearly wasn't that bad because it didn't take me much effort to unseize it, but it was seized. The starter would not turn it over. So I put it in six gear. So just by turning the wheel like so. Okay, now it doesn't want to shift. Well, that's, that's weird. Here, I'll show you exactly what I did. I'll just have to do it at first because apparently that's the only gear I have now. Okay, so first gear. And this is what I was doing to unseize the motor. Piece of wood, push down as hard as I can. Ugh. Ugh. But I was doing it in six gear, so it gives it more leverage on the motor. So I do that a couple times, and then I left it in gear. Perfect. <laughs> and I started bumping the starter you can see all the sparky sparky marks on there and the back tire started to move just a little bit so every time I slammed it back and forward the tire started moving a little more and more as you can hear now she turns over and she has spark because I checked for spark we got spark so Ignition's working. I don't know what the hell that is, but it can't be that important. <laughs> so we have spark. 
now I just gotta rig up uh yeah rig up a temporary fuel tank we'll just zip tie that to the frame something like that <clears throat> I don't really feel like trying to put fuel in the actual tank because currently it's dry and it's not full of rust so <laughs> we, we might be able to sell that and keep the bike you know just with a random gas tank on it because uh i don't know if we're gonna sell this thing or turn it into a dirt bike or what but if it runs i wouldn't mind having some fun with it plus once i drive it around and you know get it warmed up it might might start working again it was working i had it all the way to sixth gear really there's no you know what the oil in there actually looks really clean holy shit that oil is clean wow all right guess i don't need to change that that shit's still like golden brown that's surprising so i don't know what the condition of the carbs is to be honest i don't want to know <laughs> So like I said, I'm literally just going to zip tie a fuel tank to it. We're going to plumb the fuel straight into the little thing down there. This has a built-in filter, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does. It's got like a built-in metal screen. So that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, yeah, we'll put some fuel to it and see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. If it might just fire right up. I mean, I'd be surprised, but it might. All right, so we got some gas in the thing. Surprisingly, none of the carbs are leaking. I thought for sure it would just leak right off the bat, but nope. So far they're holding. I opened one of the things and it actually peed out clean gas, surprisingly, so. Let's see. Uh, dash is on, can't turn it off, so. I'll pull the choke just to see what happens. Is it in gear? Nope. All right, well, let's see. Hmm, nothing so far. Pretty sure everything's turned on. I had spark on this one. <clears throat> Oh wait, did I plug the coil back in? Ah, that'll uh, that'll do it. <laughs> oh now, I got spark now. The stupid wire would get out of the way. I could tell. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Yeah, it helps if you plug the coil in. <laughs> uh, where's that thing? Come on, thread in there. Nope. This is why I do it by hand. You don't want to cross thread these old bitches. There we go, she's in there. It sounded like it fired too. Now that we got both coils running. All right, let's see what happens now. She's trying. Okay, chokes out. There we go. Yeah, I just remembered that I changed these. I just put four new plugs in the in the shadow. Oh my god, they're covered in sand. I just took them out because they were definitely getting on the old side for a street bike. Got like fucking 26,000 kilometers on these plugs. So I figured, you know, I don't have to change them, but I probably should. But that means we have a perfect set of plugs to put in this thing.
which I'm sure which I'm sure will help it fire up quite a bit. <clears throat> They're not that much longer, but that sounds fine. All right, one, two, and three, and four. Uh, yeah, fucking hit it. Ooh. Oh, she's a running. just yeah fuck it just say fuck the throttle a little idle <laughs> neutral safety switch doesn't work however you know what does work freaking zip ties <laughs> Wait, that's a cable clutch and it's not working? Oh boy. Don't worry about that at the moment, but the clutch doesn't work either. <laughs> there we go, now I don't have to hold that stupid thing. And I can actually give it some throttle. There we go, now we can let her idle, maybe. RPM. There's no RPM. Why? Why? Why you no know RPM me? Oh, it's running. Shit's working. <laughs> yeah, so something's wrong with the throttle cable. It's fucking weird. Doesn't like having the cylinders in balance. That's funny, you can actually hear it. Look. That's just giving one cylinder throttle. You can hear it upset the balance. And then if I do all four, nice and smooth. And this one? No, that one's not as obvious. But yeah, you can tell this one upsets the balance. I didn't think it'd be quite that sensitive. Sounds like it's running pretty good. I wonder if we got gears now. Oh hey, the transmission started working again. Oh there we go, yeah we got gears again. Like I said, the clutch doesn't work. <laughs> As you can see, the clutch is fully depressed and uh, that wheel's not gonna stop. Oh wait, I lied. The clutch is now working. 
okay. That's a thing. You know what, considering I haven't done jack shit to those carburetors, it's actually running pretty good. I think it's running on all four, too. It's probably running out of gas, to be honest. Oh yeah, she's gonna be running out of gas in a minute. Not bad for a junker. Yeah, so is the clutch working now? <laughs> Here, we'll see if we can stall it. Oh, yeah, clutch is working. Nice. Stop. Yeah, clutch is working now. Nice. kill it before it completely runs out of fuel damn so we just need some brakes and i can test drive it oh and i gotta figure out what the hell's going on with this throttle <coughs> figure out why that's not uh not letting it close yeah for some reason it's holding it open that's weird. I don't know why it would do that. Oh, wait. Found it. 